It's just a really fun technology and we've been just so happy with the public response to it. We have our own electric buses on the roads here in East Tennessee. Last year, Knoxville Area Transit, or CAT, introduced electric buses to its fleet. And Cassie Nall joins us with more on how things are going with that rollout. Cassie? Yeah, John, those electric buses have been on the routes now for about five months. And CAT is excited about how those vehicles are reducing the carbon footprint. They're quiet, um, they're clean, um, and they have lots of great features for passengers like USB chargers. And they're good for the environment too. We're talking about the new all electric buses that Knoxville Area Transit or CAT has added to its fleet. General transportation is one of the biggest contributors of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. And Belinda Woody O'Brill says that CAT is looking forward to lowering its carbon emissions. So when we can develop ways that reduce that, that helps solve our climate challenge. CAT currently has 12 all electric buses and it plans to add another six by the end of the year. Those all electric buses emit about 55% less greenhouse gas emissions than their diesel counterparts and about 35% less than the hybrid diesel buses the CAT also has on the road. And although they cost more up front, there are other ways that they save money, like not having to buy fuel or change the oil. A lot of those, those maintenance costs that come along with you know, a big diesel engine um, won't be a factor with our electric fleet. The buses plug in and recharge at the end of their routes. But how long can those batteries really last? A lot of it depends on what route. If there's a lot of hills, if there's a more kind of stop and go, it affects the performance of the electric vehicle. And the weather can also be a factor. Outside temperatures determine if they have to run the heat or the air conditioning and can affect battery efficiency. CAT is continuing to collect information every day to find new ways to reduce their carbon footprint. Yeah, it's definitely a learning experience, but we're getting great data. We're learning a lot of stuff. And um, so we're, we're hoping that this will just be a smashing success. In Knoxville, I'm Cassie Knoll. And of course, some of you at home may be wondering, well, what happens if those batteries run out of a charge, if they're out on their routes and all of a sudden the juice gets too low? Well, here's the thing. You don't have to worry about that happening because these buses are so smart. They actually send a text message to the maintenance crews whenever their batteries get down to about 30%. And that's when they know they can bring them back to the hub and get them charging as well. So as of right now, there's not really a chance that your bus is going to run down because the batteries are going to run out. Now, for those of you who already have your own electric vehicles, the city of Knoxville is also helping to reduce the carbon footprint. They have 21 free charging stations around the downtown area. You can kind of see a few of these on the map right here and you can find more of that information on the city's website. Again, those are free charging stations for electric vehicles and many businesses around town also have that option as well.